Yo, what's up guys, Shujiki Ink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about Supergirl. I'm seeing in the comments like everywhere, how do I beat Supergirl, how do I beat Supergirl, and I made a video about it a long time ago. And I guess no one is able to find it or something. So I guess I'm making it again because it's just so highly requested. So the number one thing that everybody seems to have problems with for some reason that is absolutely blowing my mind is this right here. That is a... what is the startup on that? That is, it is incredibly slow. Space for 31 frames. Yes, it crosses you up on the other side. Meter burn is an overhead. You can duck this, but the easiest way around this is just to block high. Just block high, bro. Blocking high counters both of her options. Whether she does the overhead or the original one, and they're both unsafe. Original one, non-meter burn one. So this is where it's really important to be on point with your punishes. Knowing what combo is biggest for your character, because you can get a lot of damage from her just doing one teleport. So there's 367 damage for her doing a teleport. And if you're having problems with them teleporting all the time, literally do nothing but block and only counter when they teleport. Just wait for that teleport because you know they're going to do it eventually and just counter and block. The important thing is understanding what your character's biggest um, combo punisher is and being on point with that. Because you have like a pretty big window to hit a punish. Like I didn't even hit that right away. Of course, not everybody hits as strong as Firestorm, and some characters actually hit stronger than Firestorm. So as long as, you, like Superman, for example, as long as he has his trait, would be able to do way more damage than that. So now that I'm the, <laughs> that's out of the way, uh, I'm sure a lot of people stop watching because they got what they wanted, but uh, there's a couple other things that she has. So this has a gap in it right there. It's a little bit tricky with Firestorm because he doesn't have like an actual 6 frame move, so he'll trade. But if you have a character with like a six six frame move, they'll actually beat that out. And Supergirl on Supergirl, she'll just like low profile herself. And you can counter actually with like a downline of breath if you want. Speaking of downline breath, that also has a gap in it, bigger than uh bigger than the regular one. So or the back one too. So it doesn't hurt to like kind of always counter poke. Every time you see her do a down one counter poke. Now, obviously, I'm having a bit of a tough time with the firestorm because this is a little slower. But if you're like literally any other character in the game, Catwoman, for example, you can just do her standing one and get a full combo. Another thing that I don't see a lot of people doing, like uh, they, some people complain about Supergirl laser spam, which to an extent is uh, is true. She can spam a little bit, but they're also one of the weakest projectiles in the game. So if you have a projectile of your own, likely you're going to win that trade. Let's set Firestorm to counter with his. Yeah, his is 77, whereas hers does 8. <laughs> 59 on hit, sorry. I'm looking at the block damage. Let's take him off the block. So 77 to 56, so like almost 20, 21 more damage. So the important thing is that you don't let her get away with uh, spamming her lasers when her meter is down. So let's say she does this move. Look how long it takes for me to be able to do a laser again. That's forever. That's forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? Yeah, here it is again. That's how long it takes for me to get a laser back. And if I shoot one, then I have to wait the whole thing again. That's why when I'm when I'm playing Supergirl, you'll see me kind of play smart in here. Kind of throw one laser out, and then I kind of wait for it to kind of regenerate back. Just when it's almost full, I'll throw another one. And that is a smart Supergirl player. I would not get mad about losing to a Supergirl player like that. I ain't trying to give myself props, because I see lots of other Supergirls do it. I just think that this is a smart way to do it. Because then you never get stuck full screen without any sort of trade at all. No projectile, and you're sitting there mashing this button like, come on, come on back. Just pay attention to the trait meter. It's one of the biggest ways to beat her. Most of her setups mid-screen, if she's doing this uh, 4-3 overhead mix-up, you can just walk backwards on Wake Up, and it will like, it will cover both options, whether she decides to cross you up or not. Uh, she has a couple hard knockdown setups. But if you just sit there, she's gonna hit you with it. You can also do wake up attacks, depending on what your character's wake up attack is. Just do something. <laughs> Delayed wake up, literally anything. If you just sit there and try and like figure out what side to block, you're gonna get hit by it. 
Same in the corner, except it's the opposite. 90% of the time you'll see the little cross up thing happens. That's going to cross up 90% of the time. The only time I've really got it to consistently not cross up is if I fully delay it. Which kind of allows you to kind of see even then it crossed up. I don't really understand when I fully charge it when it does or doesn't. But uh, like I've noticed that 90% of the time it crosses up. So just do a wake up attack. Or uh, again, depending on what it is, because if I end it with this string right here, I can reverse your wake up attack. I did it in another video charge. Yeah, you see he reversed it so he like kind of went the other way towards the corner. So um, delayed wake up is a really good idea here because it kind of kills the, the mix up opportunity. Or depending like Supergirl for example, she just goes straight up in the air when she wakes up. So that's a good counter to it. Supergirl is a very powerful character, very good control in the neutral. Uh, she, now that she does decent damage, she's kind of a threat there as well. And uh, she's got defensive zoning, but all, all in all she kind of loses the zoning game. But you do want to be careful because of the fear of the teleport, of course. It basically comes down to a lot of reads and outplaying your opponent. Being very patient and knowing exactly when to strike Supergirl. And make sure that you know your optimal combos and punishes for your character. So you can take advantage of every opportunity. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, because it really helps me out. And subscribe, because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff. And we'll see all you guys in the next video. Accept your death.